Merry me, YouTubers. It's Lady Grave Dancer, and I am in oh, hot mess. I'm in my makeup room because the house is just too loud for me to finish this video. And um, I've already recorded the second part first, if that makes any sense. Um, so I'm here to show you how to. Well, I'm going to show you at the end of the video how to make my amethyst oil. In the video right now, I'm going to explain to you some uses for the amethyst oil and and do some explaining and you know just more detail on things that you can do and I know I'm a hot mess I just got off from work took the bra off put another shirt on and here I am this is what you get <laughs> made my glass of tea and here I am I wanted to share this video I've been lacking on the videos big time and I really really wanted to get this video out for you guys so without further ado I drink a tea and amethyst oil okay this oil is actually an oil that you would use on yourself. This is not exactly like an oil that you would use in spell work. This is an oil that you would use on yourself or someone who needed help. As you know, amethyst is like an, an everything type of crystal when it comes to healing. Healing, concentrations, you with... Let's say if you're going to go to a party and you know there's going to be art, even like, like the fellowship that I used to go to and there's going to be a lot of other witches there. You would probably notice if you if you look, a lot of people carrying wearing an amethyst point, and I think I have mine right here. Um, which well, here's my chakra point, which does have amethyst in it, which works too. And then I have an amethyst ring. Come here, as you can see, there's an amethyst stone ring, and this is my chakra point, which which has amethyst on it, and then just my amethyst point right here okay and then of course they have it in earrings and you can put it in your bra and you can just wear it any old way you want to but by wearing that helps you keep a shield up from negative energy it keeps you in a positive place I always recommend for people who maybe like therapists and teachers or people who tend to be around people whose emotions are up and down up and down up and down or even around animals if you're um, someone who is training let's say abused dogs and trying to get them into a better place amethyst would be a stone that you would want to keep on you because it helps with that energy shift it is uh, amethyst definitely associated with your crown chakra and your third eye chakra chakra there I am trying to speak the English language <laughs> um, so it's definitely it's associated with your crown and your third eye chakra for sure and the reasons make sense so we're gonna go over all these things so that you can understand a little better and I'll try not to ramble too much and then I'm gonna show you how to make this oil and just my battery gonna die no we're good we're good so I hope this works for us I'm gonna take another drink cuz I'm already talking a lot and getting dry mouth okay let's say uh, and I'm just want to go over some things that this oil is good for because it is a really 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 good oil let's say that you are let's go back to the teacher thing let's say that you're a teacher and you got a classroom full of rambunctious kids here Rusko at the door you wanna come in, bud? Come on. Come on. Come on, honey. Oh, you're so pretty. I got two dogs in here with me. I'm trying to escape their noise, but yet they're in here with me. Hey, baby. I got Paige over here, and I got Rusko over here. Huh. Okay. So, where were we? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so they're gone. Yes, you would want to have some kind of a amethyst piece. And, and the good thing about it is that you don't have to be a witch to use crystals. It has nothing to do with being a witch. Crystals have their medical properties and their magical properties, and they don't have to intertwine. So you don't have to be a witch to use these techniques. So if you can get yourself a good chunk of amethyst and keep it in your classroom, it would really help with the atmosphere. It, it will really help. You do have to clean, cleanse amethyst. And I find the best way to cleanse, cleanse amethyst is to place it into the freezer for a little while. And that completely cleanses it and recharges it. So um, you can sage it. You can palo santo it. You can spray it with something. You can energize it and charge it under the moon. Whatever works for you. The freezer is really good, though. You should really try it. Look into it. And you'll find a lot of people that really do the yeah, same. If you're a teacher, if you are a doctor... My dog was trying to come back in here. If you're a doctor, same thing. If you want to keep a piece of amethyst in your office. Okay. Um, Paige is in here with me now. My dog's run my house, I swear. Um, 
or was I? A doctor. If you have an office or just a locker, you could keep amethyst there. Keep it in your pocket. If you're a female, you could keep some in your um, bra. They do sell it flat. They call it worry stones. And you can buy them really flat and you can get them for really good prices. And that works perfect for being put into your bra. And that way you can keep that on you. But again, if you're having a really rough time, you need to cleanse that crystal that way that it doesn't just get you know stopped up you want to replenish that energy that you're using and make sure it does it it's like a filter in the house you got to change it because it gets gunked up you know so those are people who can use it um i know that it has been referred to as the painters and poets stone because it also helps with if you're let's say if you're a writer if you're a poet it's like we we're talking about if you're an artist and you're having trouble you can't think of something to do and you're just like staring at your paper and nothing's coming out amethyst is great to help you unblock that and that being said is why it's associated with your third eye chakra and your crown chakra. it helps you with creativity it helps you with uh, memories it helps you if you have issues with memories like obviously i am right now because i'm trying to talk and i can't get it out amethyst helps you with that it helps if you're if you're cramming for studies in school if you're a college student high school student you know it gets rough and you're cramming for these tests and you're cramming for these exams and you're needing to remember what you're learning you're getting frustrated you feel like you're getting blocked amethyst have amethyst with you on you around you to help keep you focused and to remember what you're learning and that way you don't have a problem with passing your exams really 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 amazing you can buy i mean and the thing with amethyst is not expensive it's not expensive at all it's it's great for healing i actually have a big chunk in one of my gardens when i came back from mexico it was not happy <laughs> at all and um and not because it wasn't being taken care of we got way too much rain while i was gone and i put a big chunk of amethyst in there and i'll show you a picture of it right now okay so i was gonna just insert a picture but i am going this is all the new babies that haven't been planted yet but i want to show you the plants that i'm talking about because i made what i call the purple garden before i left and it was not happy when I came back. And we added this big chunk of amethyst right here, and it's huge. See my hand? No, it looks little that way. Hold on. See it? And look at how these have come back. See, you can see where they were dead and how they've just come back. This is my sage right here. And then I have a couple other purple plants that are starting to come back now. And then this is going to be purple as well. So, there it is. Big chunk of amethyst. On the trampoline. Doggies, wow wows. Such a beautiful afternoon. I love... Oh look, they bloomed. I don't know if you can see the yellow orange. So I put that chunk of amethyst in there to help heal it, and it's already done great with the sage, as you can see. It's vibrant and purple and just beautiful, and uh, I just I just love amethyst. It's a really nice stone. Um, I also use rose quartz in my uh, gardens as well, but when it comes to the flowers, I use I don't use rose quartz in with the flowers. I just use it more as a uh, focus point of love, happiness, and that sort of thing. My kids are screaming. Maybe I need to throw uh, like a rose quartz at their head, right? <laughs> so they'll stop fighting. <laughs> Here, love each other. Bam! I'm just playing, guys. I don't know how, you know, much of you... A little, blah, blah. Okay, a lot of you have been subscribed to us for quite a while, so you remember that I had a little pug named um, Maxie. And she passed away of cancer. But for years and years and years, she had... When, when she was just a pup, she had dislocated one of her legs. So she started having hip troubles. And whenever she wasn't feeling good, and she knew it, this is the thing, most dogs won't stay still for this. But when she wasn't feeling well, we would place a piece of amethyst on her. And I think I have an old, old video showing us put that on. It's one of my vlogs, so I'm not going to be able to find it. But if you've been watching for a while, you've already seen it. And we would place the amethyst on her. She would just lay there. And we'd leave it on her for just as long as she would let us. Sometimes it would be 10 minutes, 20 minutes, a half hour. And it would make her feel so much better. And she'd get up, and it would be weeks before we had to do it again. That's how good it was. And then my son would keep an amethyst point on as a pendulum, because these are great for pendulums. And I still have that actual pendulum in my box of pendulums. And he would um, rotate it over her achy areas. And it's just, you, you would just feel it. And sometimes you couldn't even smell it, the 
just the ache and the ick coming out of her. And I think I kind of discussed it in a pendulum video that I did. I think I need to do an update pendulum video because it's really good. And right now I'm about to do some work on my hand again. And I should share that process. So we'll see if I can get that done. But amethyst helps with that. So if you have any kind of pains on you or on animals, it's really good. And if you can get a nice flat piece, which is really, really great to have. If you can get a nice flat piece. Oh, my frog. Let me show you. Because I'm in here. If you can get a flat piece like this and rub it over the animals or rub it over you where you're hurting you will feel, and, and I, I kid you not when I say that you will smell the ick come out of you, because you will, you'll smell it in the air, and it'll help heal you, and of course if you have some really bad ailments, this is something that you would have to keep up on and do it ever so often when the pain comes back, and arthritis gets you a worry stone, put it in your hands, help with that, it's really, really, really good, and I have carpal tunnel in both hands, both hands, and because I use crystals for healing, I won't ever have to do the surgery because the crystals work great but it's not like you could do it one time it stops hurting and you never have to do it again it is something that you will have to do again sometimes it's every couple of weeks and I've even gone as much as six months without having to do anything because then my hands are feeling great so because the type of work I do is all computer and I have carpet tunnel in both hands and I've had it for probably a good 10 8 10 years and no operation for me when most people in my family's had it's a really 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 amazing oil um, stone so by using this in an oil you're able to take this crystal with you in a liquid form and use it if you're having aches and pains as long as it's infused in there you can use it on your hands you can use it on your chakras your intuitions to your um, studies because if you're let's say you're going to the library you can't take a big old chunk of amethyst with you to the library to do your studies can't do it. Well, you probably can, but people will look at you kind of funny. So you can have this little bottle of oil with you and just work work with the oil. Use it on you. It helps open you up to all of this. Everything that I'm telling you about amethyst stones, you can use it the same with this oil because it's the same. It's like a liquid form of amethyst. It suffers from nightmares. Some people have nightmares because they're getting um, warnings. Um, you know, the spirits are your ancestors. Deity, someone is trying to tell you something, so you get it in the form of nightmares. You can use the amethyst oil on your head, on your temples, on your head, over here to help make sure you don't have bad dreams at night. You can also keep amethyst under your pillow if you like. I like to use the oil, you know, because the stones move around in the bed, but the oil stays in your skin. That's why I always recommend using a thinner type of oil instead of like a thick olive oil, which I explain in the video of making the oil. Um, this will keep you from having nightmares. Literally, amethyst and the oil because it's like liquid amethyst so when I refer to amethyst I'm also referring to the oil it is something that counter reacts negativity it literally like if you um, have ever seen where if you have a, um, a pot of oily substance and then you put a drop of that blue dish soap and it clears it up that's literally what this amethyst oil does it's really really good it just like removes the negative it's been going through a rough time and you've been having negative thoughts if you're having evil thoughts and you're wanting to harm people and you're like this is not me what is wrong there's something wrong with me this amethyst oil will help you to be able to control those emotions if you're a sad person maybe you've, you've lost someone or you're going through a divorce and you're just in a place where you can't get out of this sadness this funk amethyst oil will help you with that as well as amethyst it really helps with removing negative everything. You're scared. Some people are scared to all, all the time. They don't want to leave the house. You know, they're scared to drive. They're scared of the storms. They're scared of this. They're scared of that. And you haven't always been that way. And you're like, I don't know what's wrong with me. It's like I have an imbalance. You can use this amethyst oil to help you with that as well. The possibilities are just so many when it comes to this on animals, plants, and humans. Like I said, it's not, it is kind of like a magical tool because of what it does and what it achieves is just because amethyst is such a healing stone. It's a natural way of healing your balance and helping you with things. Um, like I said, it's not going to be anything that I'm telling you how to use in spell work. That's not what we're here for today. Now, um, it will help you balance your two chakras, your crown and your eye, uh, and your third eye chakra. And I want to go over some ways that you may know that these chakras are out of balance. What may be going on in your world and making you unbalanced. But first, I'm gonna take a drink of my tea because, again, I've been talking a lot. I guess we'll start with. You cannot get out of here until I finish making this video. We'll start with the crown chakra. In. 
and work from there. Now, there's one way that, uh, well, not one way, but there's many ways to, you know, check your emotions to find out if your child, really? Would you stop? Would you stop, honey? Come here, come say hi. Paige, come here. No, should I do it? Okay. A way to tell that if your crown chakra is not balanced, that there's something going on, what you will know because you will have depression for one thing. You'll feel sad and you're, you don't know what's going on and why you're feeling this way. No inspiration. You'll feel like you don't, you kind of will feel fear pursuing goals. Goals. Goals in life. Not goal like a soccer goal, but goals in life. And you will feel... Like your spiritual energy is there, like you're just not feeling it no more. Like, oh, I'm just not feeling spiritual. It's like, you know, I'm not feeling deity. I'm not feeling this. I'm not feeling that. That is part of your imbalance. You know that you're not balanced. Like you're disasso uh, disassociated with yourself. Like, <laughs> sorry. You just don't feel like you're you. And, and you did before. And, and you. Sorry guys. All right. Um, I don't want to stop the video and see where I stopped at. I don't remember what I was talking about last. Freaking phone calls. Well, we were talking about the crown chakra, and if you are, uh, if you're not balanced, these are the things. I'm sure I covered enough where you can get a kind of idea of of if you need to balance out that chakra and then the third eye chakra if it's not balanced you have issues where you feel like you can't remember things like you put stuff up and then you don't know where it's at maybe if you're a tarot reader your intuition isn't what it used to be um if you used to get vibes off people and then you're not feeling it now that could be a reason why um if you're just in a bad mood and you're not normally a person that's in a bad mood and if you find yourself spacing out a lot trying to remember things you're usually a person who is creative and has a great imagination and now you don't that's a way to know that something is wrong if you are thinking things and people are telling you that that's not right or if you if you heard someone say something and you took it wrong and everybody else around you says no they didn't mean it like that that's not how they said it and then you're like yes they did that's also something that needs to be balanced within your third eye chakra. Um, <laughs> I've seen this happen a lot on YouTube, actually. I uh, just want to rub everybody with some um, amethyst oil. Here, take it. Take. If you have poor concentration, let's say you're reading, and you read the same line over and over and over again, or someone's having a conversation with you, and you're looking at them, and you're listening, but you didn't hear them, that's also something that could tell you um, that something is wrong with your third if eye. If you get the feeling that you're sick, like, oh, do I have fever and everybody touches you and your skin is just fine and you don't have fever and you're starting to feel sick like you might have a sore throat and there's no reason for it you know just little bitty things not like majorly sick where you have the flu get it get that checked but if you feel like you're sick and you're aching you shouldn't be and that's not normal for you and you know there's not nothing really medically wrong with you because you definitely want to check that I'm not telling you not to see a doctor please don't think I don't want you to see a doctor because I do but if you just feel like you're not just up to par you're just feeling like headaches are coming on and they shouldn't sore throats are coming on maybe allergies these are things to let you know that your third eye chakra needs some attention so um i might end up doing a whole series on all the chakras and and other oils this is i want to show you how to make this oil and that's what's coming up next if you have any questions anything you want to add because i know that i'm not the only one that makes this type of oil there's just no way that that's possible and you want to share maybe your recipe down below or what you would add to it if you would add some rosemary to it because the rosemary is great for concentration if you just have a rosemary plant here and smell it it helps with memory it helps with concentration so the mixture of the amethyst and rosemary oil would be amazing i don't have rosemary in this particular blend because I just don't feel the need to because the amethyst is so strong within the oil I don't need it but if you wanted to add anything to it this is your oil you make it your own and if you want to share your recipe or like I said anything that you would add to it then please feel free to do so below if you want to ask any questions um, do so below I love when I go in the comments I've said this so many times where I see people socializing and sharing and sharing and I just love it, it just it really makes it all worth making videos because it brings us all together as a community so we can learn and grow from each other. So, yes, 
stay tuned and watch because right after I stop talking in the same video is going to be the amethyst oil how I make it alright guys if I don't say so at the end of that video thank you so much for watching and I'll see you at the next video and as always blessed be okay so at this point I've already explained to you uses for amethyst oil so right here I have some oil that I set up and you can use whatever oil you want to I'm sorry my dogs are in here playing and they're having a good time um, <laughs> this is a hot mess can you not do this while I'm in here please thank you okay so what I've done yesterday was is I got um, I filled this with oil and what I was saying is you can use any oil you want to I do always recommend a lighter oil canola uh, sunflower oil <laughs> my dogs tap 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 almond oil grapeseed oil these are, are the best for these type of oils that you're going to add to your skin I just think that olive oil is kind of thick and it kind of takes away from what the crystal is doing so um, and what I already explained to you about the color purple is why I added this oil yesterday and put in some hibiscus flowers in there let me show you so I have a whole jar of these and I did get these from Mountain Rose Herbs you can get these in the grocery store because it makes an amazing tea anyway and um, the reason that I added this is so I can have a little bit of color because I like the color pop that comes into this oil so um, I added this yesterday I've shaken it one, two, three, four or five times since yesterday and it's ready. You shake it as much as you want to. If you want to let it set up some more, you can. Um, hibiscus, the only thing that I can really think of off the top of my head that this herb is good for is for cleansing. I'm sure any herb can be used for protection because it's really about how you use the energy that the herb gives you. So, um, But for cleansing, this is definitely a good one. So I thought it was perfect and then plus with the color, it just makes it all the better. So, like I said, I did this yesterday. And I've been shaking it. It has set up and it has been enchanted. I am so sorry. See, the thing is, is that I can be interrupted right now because all this stuff is already ready. This was enchanted yesterday. The crystal is already clean that I'm going to be using. It's already cleansed that I'm going to be using. So the interruption it doesn't really matter. And I don't have a candle. I usually have a white and a black candle going. I did that when I prepared this oil yesterday. So now I'm going to be adding together the oil with the crystal. Let me show you the amethyst. And this bad boy was cleansed and put under the last moon. And it traveled with me. But I've already explained to you uses for amethyst and how amazing it is. And I am going to be using that in this oil. So let me put it down there without breaking the glass. This oil is absolutely amazing. And I probably should have showed you how I prepared that oil with the enchantments and, and things of that sort. But you've seen me do it in other videos. And, and you just want to do it for yourself anyway. So do it ever, however you want to. Whenever I got the hibiscus flowers, I got little palm size. And I just crushed them and enchanted them in between my hands until I felt the energy flow. And I kind of explained to you how to do that in my energy bubble video. And then I added it to the bottle. And then I hold it. I've showed that in the video before where I'm holding the energy in. And then I do it again. Really? Okay. Come on, I'm making a video here. Alright, it'll take a minute. I'll be right back. Let's let them bark it out. Bark, 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 bark. Okay, so now I'm going to strain this as best I can on camera, okay? So. Now that I've strained this, and I'm actually going to reuse the herbs that I have, and that way I have another batch ready to go, because this stuff is really good. Let me show you the beautiful color. And my light in here is terrible. Let me bring you over here. This is the color. It's a beautiful color. Absolutely pretty. Hi, doggies. Y'all done barking? Okay. All right. And now that I've added that, I'm just going to enchant this together. Next is the final ingredient, and that is lavender essential oil. And previously, my previous batch, I used, let me show you, the combination. Let me, I got my little box of essential oils here. And I, I used a combination of the grapefruit. Okay, there's too many to sit here and keep looking through. I used a combination of the grapefruit and the lemon. Okay, here's my grapefruit. Where are you? and of the lemon and the reason that I did that and I'm probably going to add it to this but I only wanted to share the lavender the reason I added the grapefruit and lemon because it's really good for concentration and that is a big use for this particular oil 
So I'm probably going to add it in. And lavender and lemon smell really good together anyway. But for this video purpose only, I'm going to just be adding some essential oil lavender. And then, um, like I said, probably going to still add some of the lemon to it afterwards. Not the grapefruit this time, but definitely the lemon. Just for the concentration purpose of it. Because lemon, any citrusy, anything will definitely help with concentration. So... I'm going to add that now and you add as much of it and as little as you want to it because this is basically for the scent of it is what I'm using and honestly if you don't have a lavender essential oil then you can use a lavender scented oil because this is for scenting purposes only the oil that's in here and the stone that is in here is what's going to be doing most of the work and what you enchanted it with so the scent is just for dude dude <laughs> the scent is for your purposes only, just for the smell. So you can switch it to whatever you want. And if you don't have essential oil, you can use um, scented oil, but you would want to use the ones that are like for soaps and stuff, so that way you can put it on your skin, because this is definitely an oil that you would add to your skin, okay? So I'm going to add that now. Lemon and lavender are two of my favorite oils to add together. I have a bubble bar that I... I sell, I don't even know if it's on my shop now, but when I go to any kind of um, sales that I sell soaps and stuff at, um, fairs and things like that, I make this lavender lemon bubble bar for children to help calm them down at the, at the end of the evening. So I'm going to give this a stir, not a stir, but a toss around very slowly because you do have a crystal in there. So you don't want to break your glass because I did use a thin one, but I really, really like that thin glass for this oil. I just love this oil so much. You like... The selenite oil is absolutely amazing, but amethyst oil, I mean, I've already gone over all the properties and things that you can use it for before you saw this part of the video, but it's so, so, so good and so easy to make and has such benefits. And of course, you can add to it. If you like your herbs to be floating around in there, that's great. You can add some herbs in there. You don't have to strain the hibiscus out. You can add other things to it, like rosemary. You can do what you want with it, but honestly amethyst doesn't need a whole lot of anything it, it's just amazing all on its own so all right let me give this a stir and it smells gorgeous the scent alone is just amazing so this is the amethyst oil and it's absolutely amazing let me show you that color again it is so pretty you want this in your oils and let me show you the little vials that i use to carry it around with me i'm going to bottle myself some while i'm here um I don't know if I had mentioned that, but this will remain on my working altar, and it, that's where it'll stay, and I have a little space underneath my working altar where I keep certain oils, so that way it's always getting my energy, because that's where I'm at most of the time. Because I'm removing some of the oil from the amethyst, I am going to be adding some amethyst pieces to my little bottle. That way, it continues to get that amethyst love, because that's the whole purpose. If I remove the oil and it hasn't been in this container with this amethyst very long, it defeats the whole purpose. So, I would recommend if you don't have amethyst chips to do a carry bottle, wait at least a week with um, leaving this with the oil with the amethyst, shaking it as much as you can without breaking your jar, and then removing the oil to use. Because you, you definitely want them to marry in with one another. I'll put the lid on it. And like I said, I use a roll-on bottle, but you can use whatever you want. And you can get these little roll-on bottles on eBay pretty cheap. So, and here it is. Let me show you what it looks like in the sun. You see that purple and the amethyst that's in there? And that purple sheen. Oh my God, you will love this oil. Love, 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 love this oil. I promise you. Let me get a lid. Let me do a little rub so you can see it doesn't leave a color on you. Of course, that's not where I would use it at, but it does smell good. There you go. Let's see, Get my lid. And there you have it. There is my amethyst oil. All right, I hope my dogs didn't bug you too much, and I hope you make this oil and enjoy it as much as we do. There you go. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you at the next video. And oh, stay tuned because I am going to post a video shortly after this of my tobacco water. Tobacco water is used much like Florida water and Florida water is amazing and I'm not trying to say anything that it's not amazing because it really is but tobacco water 
it's so much more potent than Florida water because I feel tobacco is a very strong cleanser. So my opinions and it works that way in my practice. If you want to see how to get that, that will be the video up in a few days because I'm trying to separate my videos a few days out. That way I'm able to share more because sometimes I'll post two at a time and I don't have a lot of time to make a lot of videos. I'm really, really, really trying to make more videos for you guys. So tobacco after this, wait about two days and the tobacco water will be up. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching and we will see you at the next video and as always, blessed be.